Bro, this shit just started and I didn't even have time to do anything. I couldn't shred my hat or anything. Welcome your asses back to H1Z1 Battle Royale. Now, what the fuck kind of spawn is this? Look, uh, I don't know if I told you guys about my wisdom teeth and my jaw, but my jaw is hurting like a bitch for the past two or three days. I think it's time to go to the dentist at this point because something it's not even my tooth it's like something is ripping my gum back there and it is so excruciatingly painful that i cannot even take it i can't eat food i can't like open my mouth wide at all so it's just it's bad dude it's really bad so if i'm not um if i'm not talking or yelling as much today that is the reason why it's just it's real painful and i've been pretty good about making these videos like the day before uh the day before i post them but last night i didn't get back to the house until late i didn't get a chance to uh to record yesterday so it is sunday right now happy so oh shit come on then I got rid of that COF thing on my reticle too. You guys helped me out with that. He just went inside the building. Oh, oh shit. He is in the He lost. <laughs> yeah, G G G G G, bro. G G. Bro, you suck. Huge dicks, dude. <laughs> All right, Tam military. I'm taking that. Uh, let's just get his armor scraps. Oh, he had a Molotov too. Let's take. Okay. We got all of that. Yo, he was talking mad shit. Oh. I see somebody. Did I have a helmet on? I just got one-shotted like that? What the fuck? Ow. All right, it's time to turn the fuck up. We're going for back-to-back -back wins today. Although, I don't know if it really counts as back-to-back -back if I just died. All the I mean, we could say back-to-back -back in the same episode on YouTube, just not really back-to-back -back games. And I'll take that to be honest. Two people landed at Lowe's right next to us, so there's a pistol right there. I should probably just grab it. Now, let's get this backpack. Here is a shotgun, though. We're going to take that. Got to get rid of these binoculars. If I could go ahead and do that. If my gun would reload fast enough, get rid of the knocks. All right. Let's grab the pistol for now. Start reloading that. And then there's one more trailer here. This was not a good spawn. For us, I'm gonna be honest, but we did just get okay some shit. We did just get some body armor. There's one more. Okay, here we go. Got some more shotgun bullets. Is this the same pistol that I had? It's not the same pistol. Shit. Oh, that's okay. This is it. This is the one. Where did I just okay? Let's get rid of this pistol. Is that me wielding the yo? I just went down over there. It just went down. Let's move this here. All right, we're running up on them. This is it. Let's get the AR out. We know where they are. They don't know where we are. That puts us... Oh, shit. That puts us at a strong advantage. There's two people fighting in here. I can't tell if this is inside Zim's. Zims, Lowe's, whatever you want to call it. We're going through the back door. I don't think either of these guys have died yet. We heard them shooting, but... I didn't see the, uh... I didn't see anyone die. Oh, this is sketch. They must have died, right? I can't get to the front? Oh, dude, what if they run out now? Oh, I fucked up. That was a stun grenade or something. This was not a good decision. At all. Is it a person to my left on the street? No. Now if they run out of here, I'm fucked. Oh, God. What if they already ran out? What if they're already gone? pre-aiming like I'm playing CS. Alright, if I could just run behind this wall right here, we could... Oh, shit. Where did that just come from? Maybe they weren't in the building the whole time. 
That's always a possibility. Maybe I just thought they were in the building. No, I mean, I'm telling you. I saw two people off the rip fall inside of here. Like, for sure. There's only 80 players left. 78 players. Gotta get this back-to-back -to -back dub today. Yeah, you know what I didn't even notice yesterday? When I was in the final two, I didn't even have a freaking helmet on. In the final fight, you know how mad y'all would have been? How mad I would have been at myself? If I died? And I was just challenging like a psycho, too. I was feeling myself a little bit too much yesterday. And I gotta play smarter. Gotta play smarter if we're gonna get this back-to-back -to -back today. Only issue is... Y'all know me. I really want to get in the action. But look where we're at, dude. Like, there's nothing here. I could run all the way down this damn road. You know how long it's going to take to get to Pleasant Valley on this road? Oh, dude. Dude, it's no joke. It's the middle of the summer. Why is my nose stopped up? Can anybody answer me that question? Is it because my room gets down to 52 degrees every night? On some straight torture shit? We got extra armor. Oh, extra bullets, dude. Shit, okay. Might be something on the other side. Nope, okay. Let's keep it moving. 100% health. Did I find any first aid kits? What is that looking like? We did find one. We'll go ahead and shred this backpack. Right? Okay, you can't shred it while you're running. Well, we can't fucking multitask these days. What's going on? I'm a soldier trained to kill. Let's get rid of all this. All of it. Shift click it. Got a waste pack in my fucking belt pouch. Oh, wait, no. I got a belt pouch in my waist pack. That's what I do. That shit I do. I saw somebody in the comments asking, why the fuck do I always pick up waist packs when you spawn with one? Well, it's actually different from the one you spawn with, and it just gives you more, more room. The belt pouch, I think, lets you hold 50. 50 uh, max items or points, whatever the fuck it is. And then the waist pack is 300. So six times the amount of supplies you can carry in the waste pack. That's why I grabbed that shit. So you should grab it too, is what I'm saying. All right, we're running up on some some cars on the highway. I don't know why they didn't just, I mean, if there's like a zombie apocalypse or whatever, like, bitch, there's no traffic jam, keep going. <laughs> like, you almost made it out. You just stopped your perfectly good van like this. You know what I'm saying, just to get out? Bitch, the end of the map is right down there. Go through the tunnel and you're free. People are dumb. They just don't think, you know? They do not think. I would have been out of there. I would have kept on driving. 59 players left. Gorman's taking them out. Buzzkill. Twitch TV. Fuck your stream. <laughs> oh, my mouth hurts so bad, dude. Oh, shit. They're shooting. And I hear the planes, too. Should we go after the crate today? Should we get the military crate? What do y'all think? Toxic gas, three minutes. Where's it going? Oh, shit. I really do gotta keep running towards the city. Where is that plane at? I can't see it. I hear it, but I do not see it. Mr. Bum Bum just went down. Rest in peace. To my man, Mr. Bum Bum. He didn't have what it takes. You know, GGX though, he did. Killed him with a Predator shotgun? What the fuck is a Predator shotgun? Still got my iPhone coming out of my computer. You guys said to clean out the uh, clean out the port in my iPhone to get it charging again. I didn't try it. I should, though. I just forgot. I'm going to get some more water, bro. Got to stay hydrated. Y'all already know the deal. I didn't even know that these Gymshark um, containers, jugs, are two liters. So it's like the perfect amount of water for each day. Actually, because I go hard in the pain at the gym, I'll be sweating and shit. I try to drink about three liters of water a day. So I'll drink that and then fill it up about halfway. And then I drink that too. You know what I'm saying? 
that keeps my body functioning properly. You know, transporting nutrients in my cells and shit. You know what I'm saying? Making sure I got a properly functioning kidney. What does it help? Organs? I guess it helps everything. Drinking a lot of water. You got to drink water, man. That shit will change your life. And eat fruit, too. We had this conversation, right? I think we did. But I've been eating... I mean, I'm like four days strong into, you know, drinking that much water every day. Eating two to three servings of fruit. You know, like nutritious fruit, too. I'm talking berries. I'm talking grapes. I'm talking pineapple. Little cantaloupe. Honeydew melon. Shit like that. Some strawberries. Blueberries. About two to three servings of that per day. Two to three liters of water per day. And only about 1,800 calories per day. And I've been implementing some cardio. The fuck? Like, that shotgun sounds so much more powerful with that sound input. That's what I've been up to, though. And hitting the gym mad hard. Just pushing mad weight. Like... And I just, I feel great. Like, I'm always in one of two moods. Yeah. It's always like the grass is greener on the other side. You know what I'm saying? When you're when you're exercising like that, and somebody saw us running there. Imagine I would have popped him out of that. You would have been mind blown. The grass is always greener on the other side, though, man. When you're exercising, when you're feeling good, like, God damn, do I just want some pizza, though. You know what I'm saying? But I know how bad of a mood that shit is going to put me in. I actually had pizza right in front of me last night. Like, a lot of it. My favorite, Papa John's pizza, bro. Like, real shit. The garlic butter dipping sauce had all that. You know what? I refused. Because I know how good I feel right now and I'm not giving that shit up it's not worth it what the bitch I was about to say you are a trained assassin who comes in here and steals one of the shotgun ammo things doesn't make sense somebody's messing with me we should probably keep going because I'm not in the safe zone yeah we're not <laughs> we gotta keep going 37 players left we haven't seen anybody this episode somebody okay never mind you were telling me the ingredients to make the makeshift armor. Apparently shredding the tan military backpack gives you the composite fabrics. Shred shredding helmets gives you the armor scraps. And uh, you can just pick up the duct tape too. But I got two real body armors. I don't fuck with makeshift stuff. I only cop that new new. I really hope we find some people. You know, because we have not seen shit this episode. We've just been talking some more about some fruit. You know, just good life decisions. Really just all about them good vibes today. Trying to pass on the good vibe energy. You know, share my secrets. It ain't no secret, though. It ain't no secret, though. I really just need y'all to hold me accountable to, like, diets and workouts, like... When you see me tweet out a picture of a pizza, unfollow me, dog. Playing, don't unfollow me. Don't do that shit. But I mean, say something. You know, you gotta scold me. I can't go back at this point. Cause some. Oh shit. Should I take that? I feel like the crossbow is way easier to use than the uh, the recurve bow. I'm gonna use that one of these days. We're gonna do the crossbow challenge. Somebody called it the Katniss Everdeen challenge. Although she didn't have a fucking crossbow. She had a normal pull the pull the string bow. Did I just see somebody running across the street? I think we did. I think we did. Oh baby. It's coming. All these doors are open. That's kind of sketchy. Somebody's definitely going to pop out of one of these bathrooms talking shit. And I'm just going to have to end them. I'm not afraid to do that. 
I think we might be safe in here. Oh, and this door's closed? You know what that means. Somebody closed it. Cause you know damn- Yeah! You know damn well. Somebody came in this building. Right? Throughout the course of the whole game, somebody came in here, dude. And they were in here closing doors, thinking they were smart. Should I take those? Are those the conveys? Tan work boots my ass. Can I get on this roof? Is this a roof? It's not. Where you at? Oh, shit. They're not here. They're not here. I say we just post up right here. 27 players left. Only 27 people. What a fucking episode of H1Z1 this is. Hey, you can't always find the action, man. You can't always find it. I just, you know, you got to play the hand you're dealt. And the hand we were dealt was spa spawning at fucking Lowe's or Zim's, whatever it's called. Wait, what is that? Damn. Wait, so they just, that's what composite fabric looks like? It's just a small loot bag? It's weird. That's the first time I've seen it on the on the ground. All right, are we safe? I think we are. Yeah, we should be. We're past the the suburbs, so we should be good. Let's see where the next safe zone's going, and that'll dictate what we do. Okay, so we are, it's going right to Bumjik Farms. We're gonna have to move, man. We got to, because it's only gonna keep going after that, you know? It's probably gonna head to that mountain, mountain top, mountainside. I hate fighting over there, too. I don't like it one bit. Yeah. Trying to see if I can find a car or something that we can grab. Somebody went down in the middle of the street right here. Uh, okay. Some showdown leggings. 23 play. Oh. 23 players left. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. You guys have seen every game I've played today, so my shot is just not very warmed up. I'm not ready for this. I think this might be in the next safe zone. This, the storage containers? I think this on the map, these are the storage containers. So, we should be good. Just want to make sure nobody's like following us. Or some shit. About to have to take some water too. I need to take some ibuprofen. That's what I need. Kind of kill this pain. I can only open my mouth like, like that. I tried to eat a burrito yesterday. Oh, dude, I looked like a fucking clown. I literally had to, cause I was really craving a um, like I'm in such a good mood, like healthy eating. Why I didn't even want to eat meat or chicken, so I got a tofu burrito from Chipotle. And I really only like that when it's in burrito form. I didn't want to eat it out of a bowl. I don't like the tofu bowls. I just like it in the burrito. Don't ask me why. But I was really craving that shit. And I couldn't open my damn mouth wide enough to eat the burrito because it hurt so bad. So I had to open up my burrito and eat it like a bowl anyway. And it was kind of just, it was kind of gross. And I got less food than I normally would have if I would have just gotten a bowl in the first place. It was just a bad... This is just a bad experience. I did get a Chipotle rewards card though, which is great. I've been waiting on that shit for years, dude. I'm a frequent visitor of yeah. Chipotle. Love the quality, love the food. I've strayed off the path a couple times. Like for a while I was going to Qdoba, but Qdoba's good, but nothing matches the quality of Chipotle. Like I know they had that uh, E. coli scare or whatever, but that's sort of just the risk you run you know, when they handle food the way they do. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not frozen patties made in a fucking lab and sent off everywhere. Like they're sending straight up chicken, dog. Like straight up steak. So sometimes shit is gonna happen, but it's worth it, man. Chipotle's quality is there. When I was eating Qdoba, it was really just because I wanted the cheese dip. <laughs> I wanted the cheese dip and the high C, like their drink machines 
are great. It's the one, the, like the uh, electronic one, where it's got like 50 different flavors of everything. I always got the high C fruit punch. Aw, oh, dude. That was my shit. For sure. But Chipotle's quality, if you're going for fresh, real food, unmatchable. Nobody's matching that shit. So I got a rewards card. I think it's only for the summer, though. And it's like for every four burritos you get, you get a fifth one free. I don't know if that comes with... I got to sign up, actually. I didn't activate it yet. I, I wonder if that counts with bowls. Most of the time, I'm getting bowls. I don't like the extra calories in the tortilla. I don't like how all the ingredients in the burrito are in, like one section of the burrito you know what i'm saying so you get like one big ass bite of rice oh shit what's up you get one big ass bite of guacamole or something i don't really i don't like that well let's go then bitch he jumped out the car does he know i'm behind this rock i feel like he does if he's got a molotov i'm fucked He knows I'm back here, I'm telling you. Oh shit. Fuck. Coming for you, bitch. Oh my, wait, no. Ah! Oh, I'm at two percent. Bitch! Oh! <laughs> you can't do it to me. You can't do that to me. Why didn't I use the bandage? That was the dumbest shit I've ever done. If I use the bandage, it stops the bleeding, but I was panicking. I was at 5%. Bro, literally, as it said, the first aid kit was about to work. As the first aid kit hit zero, I hit 0% zero health. Oh, dude, that's a heartbreaker. That's an absolute heartbreaker, and my jaw just hurts that much worse. Look, if this was any other day, I would totally try again and make, like, a super long episode. But like I said, it just it hurts to talk. This may be the only video I get up today. I'm going to be real honest. Um, I was going to record some... Uh, I might record some Call of Duty. might have, like, a nuked out series going up later but we'll see how i feel i'm gonna take some ibuprofen if my mouth feels better i will do that but thank you guys for uh tuning into the episode of h1z1 here today i had fun talking to y'all about um you know food and shit that's pretty much that's what we always talk about so <laughs> had a great time and hopefully you did as well if you did enjoy the video here today be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance, and as always, guys, I don't really have an hour.